I don't think I should have declined that first fight. Daniel Cormier. I think I'm going to go ahead and decline. Woo. Oh, man. The f champ. Oh, my God. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Oh, hold on, man. Nah. Oh, man. Man, I don't care about boy, yo. Yo, I just got a championship offer. Is that can I get a can I get a rival out of that or no? Yo. <laughs> what what am I gonna do? I can't duck him. I gotta fight him. Uh welcome to another UFC for career mode video where I declined two fight offers and now I gotta fight the freaking champ. I'm going to need every single week to prepare for this fight. I ducked enough people. Ain't nothing I could do now. They'll let anyone fight for the title these days. Yo, I, ESPN MMA saved me. <laughs> oh, no. All right. So first things first. DC chicken two for one coupon. And I'll do all, matter of fact, you know what, let's hype it up a little bit more. Get some fight hype going for that. Oh man, look at, look at, look at this, look at the stuff they got me posted. Oh man, oh man. I'm scared, I ain't gonna lie, I'm scared. All right, so I got, 70 points let's go ahead and um i guess we can up my hooks maybe um all right virginia jiu jitsu reversals is it i need to put everything in on bottom game all right so it is week six of my training camp to fight the champion I don't know what to do right now. I'm at very, very, very good peak performance. I believe that I want to spar once again and then watch some tape and then I should be good to go. I believe if I spar right now, I shouldn't really hurt myself. I shouldn't overtrain or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get 15 more fight evolution points. Let's go. Now I've been grinding these evolution points out like crazy. Um, I just come in. I don't knock. I don't knock my sparring partner out. You know what I'm saying? I, I just I just do as much damage as I can. And just get right. All right, and then I just do this. Good work with your hands. You know what I'm saying? Just keep walking him down. He's starting to fall apart. Great boxing damage. Good job. Ooh, that hook, boy. Yep, got him, coach. And then after I knock him down one time, I just start working on leg kicks. Come on now, you got 30. Keep working on that boxing damage. That's what I need. Mm, good hit. Ah, nice. I can do this. Excellent job today. 
better than last time. All right. Just do that. You know what I'm saying? Something light. Nothing too crazy. I'm still at peak performance, which is good. You know what I mean? No injuries coming out of the uh, training camp right now. Um, if I could watch some tape, I will. If I could hype the fight, I will. But for right now, I am feeling very, very good. One thing, though. If I do happen to go to the ground, there may be problems. All right. So I think I could watch tape right now on this guy. Nope. Can't watch any tape. And I can't hype up the fight anymore, I believe. Oh, I can hype the fight. Okay, cool. So I got 25 remaining. I'm glad I can go to this fighting. Okay, cool. All right, bet. So right now, let me see if I can get a connection going. Uh, leave flying knee. I might be able to, you know what? Yeah, why not? Why not spend, why not spend more money on that? <laughs> Yo, nobody wanted to fight him anyway, bro. To be honest, I'm saying he can come chase his butt after I get it. But look, check it out. We have 85 evolution points. This is probably the highest amount of evolution points I've ever earned. And mainly because I had a six week training camp and I was going crazy with the sparring. So um, basically I just kept sparring with my stand up guy and I went all the way up to earning uh, 60 calendar days per spar. So it really worked out. Now I'm trying to figure out what I should work on here. You know what I mean? I don't know if I should work on my leg strength, my body strength. I don't know. Um, I do want to work on my bottom game, but I don't know, man. Like, I might want to work on my top game. All right, yeah. Top game, three stars. Bottom game, three stars. Let's see. Takedown defense. I could go one more on my takedown defense, but I always seem to, to miss time. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe we can go with... Let's go with blocking. Let's go with blocking. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm gonna be that guy that can block. All right, and then we can spend this on accuracy. So now my hits will hit even faster, more accurate. All right, I think I'm good to go. Let me check social media. Um, in the good old days, every negotiation was a blast on Twitter. Let Abba King Carter fight. All right, bet. So um, I got a negative relationship with this dude. Um, if I need to learn any moves from him, I'm 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 really, really done. Walt the same thing. Um, and this dude, I don't know how he's my rival, dog. Like I never really liked this dude, bro. So, um, I'm neutral with Sean. Sean was cool. He was a cool dude. All right, so it is time for me to advance to fight week. Woo! I'm. This is this is going to be crazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't know what to expect. I just I hope I come out with the win. I hope I don't get slammed a lot. I hate getting slammed. I'm hoping my punching power, my accuracy, my speed, my footwork. I hope all of that comes in effect where I can get this W. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. You guys won't see me until the beginning of the fight. I'm going to let the entire introduction run through because this is a championship bout. All right. See you on a bit. <laughs> Man, it's crazy. Seems like just yesterday you stand up at the posters all wide eyed. <laughs> You've been through a lot. Hell, I put you through a lot, but it was all for one reason to get you here. Your first UFC championship. I just want to say, uh, no matter what happens out there, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the fighter you've become. Yeah, don't get me wrong though. If you lose, I'm gonna have to bust you up in the gym next week. <laughs> I already made space on the wall for a new picture and you know how much I hate redecorating, right? So let's go get that belt, champ. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. 
I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Ngannou is 16 years the elder. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, presenting the challenger, Carter. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator and God. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? Okay. I'm ready. Clap it up for this fool. All right, so here we go. Fuck you, boy. Fuck you, boy. Ooh, ooh, what's up? More impressive than the last. Come on, show me some. Uh huh. Continue his path toward title contention. We'll see if he can keep it going here tonight. Straight. Yeah, he should have threw it. Yeah. Ooh, good head kick though. He lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, how about the head movement? Slips his mm -hmm. head off the center line and then rips back. Come on. Show me some. Try to establish that jab. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Range, boy. Oh, oh. You the champ? You the champ? You the champ? You the champ? Huh? You the champ? You ain't my champ. Come on. Nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough. Nah. What you got for me? A good body kick. But I'm a headhunter, baby. What you got for me? Both guys really throwing with authority. Come on. Show me something. This this your fight. This your octagon, right? Come on. That's nothing. 
What you got for me? What you got for me? What you got for me? All right, so Francis got a pretty patient here early on and leaning on this jab. When you look at a guy like Francis, who has such mm. power, fight behind a jab, it shows you how much he's evolving. He's not just searching for the Nah, that's, nah, that's the stuff. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. Wow. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very oh, nice. good, good throw. Mm-hmm. Oh, you one of those. Come here. No, sir. No, sir. You one of those? Why am I getting up? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Come on, you the champ, right? You the champ, right? You the champ, right? All right, side control now. We'll see. Nah, you the champ. You the champ. You the champ. You're the champ, right? Nah. All right, bro. Come on. Back to the feet now. Changes. Let's go. Come on. That one's stuck in. Nice strike. Come on, what you got for me? Ooh, nice elbow, boy. Bang! Oh. Uh huh. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost part in mixed martial arts. Yo, why my stamina so low? Landed that left hook. Yeah, I got you. Nah. Oh, now going to the body with another takedown. What's up? Come on, I got him. I got him. I let him know I hit hard. I hit hard. Yeah. You're going to be thinking about this one. Hey, yo, he's going to go cry in the car, yo. Stop playing with me. I hit hard. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up. Let's go. Early, going up got this man on his knees, man. Bing. Come on. I'm so ready. <laughs> so ready. Come on. Let's go. Second round underway. Yeah, you know what time it is. What's up? Do something. Man, stop playing me, boy. Good movement. Yes, sir. Transitioning very well on the ground. Step for step. Yes, sir. In every transition. All right, stack guard here now. The feet are on the hips, DC. So for the top fighter, this is not at all ideal. No, this is not Come ideal. on. Because now he has to try and stop his opponent from kicking him away. How do you do that? You attack the feet. You start grabbing the feet with the hands. What you got for me? This my this my octagon now. It's my belt. Try to get inside. Oh. Uh. Oh, you one of those. All right, good job. He is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. The Predator gets caught with that punch. Nice jab. Falls come on. With a nice right hand. Hey, come over here. Come holla at me. Really stand. After you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness. Come on. Right now. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did Show me something. Right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup. Ooh. The Got, the knockdown. Got it. Ooh. Are you throwing? What you throwing? Come on, let me. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm. Come on, man. I got you. Range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Over and over. All right. Big body kick. Man, throw your kicks. Stop being scary. Good punch. I'm trying to land it with the with one big blow. Oh, how about the right hand from Francis Ngannou? It's hard to watch. I can't imagine. How many times are you gonna show me that same move? Francis put out an entire generation of heavyweight that came before him. Put out Overeem. Put out Velasquez. Come on. Put out those Santos, and he did it all with that beautiful right hand. It is one of the. Hey, get up! This is my octagon. Get your ass up. Come on. What is this? Big moment in this fight. Oh, big left. Big. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. 
Man, get up. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it. Oh. You're crumbling. He put him to sleep. And Gato gets up. But dazed and confused. Oh. Come on. You know it's coming. Come on. And just misses. That was the one. Big punch lands over the Oh. That was a big body. It does not get much better than that. Hey, yo. You see the blood flying? Man, I'm going I'm to embarrass this fool, yo. I'm going to embarrass this fool, man. I want to go five rounds, man. I want to go five rounds. It's not equal. And if he can Stop land, playing with me, bro. Stop playing. Get your... Boy. Look at his lip. Look at his lip. That thing fat. Stop playing me, bro. Here we go. Third round of this championship fight. Come on. Throw some. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. Come on. Bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. What you got for him? Lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Mm. Oh, huge left hand from Francis and Get up. Get up. Get up. Mm. Nice lead. Look at him whip his hip. Come on. That kick. Man, he's just got a great yes, sir. striking realm early in this one. The timing. Come on, stop playing me. Point. He's doing a great job. Oh! Over the top, and now his opponent in a Oh, baby. Level change. Make him think you're going low and then come right over the top with that beautiful Ooh. Let me get let me get everything back right. Well, he oh! Oh my god, that one two was crazy. Oh my I'm seeing stars. I'm seeing stars. I'm seeing stars. Knee to the body. Well not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive a lot. Oh man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position. Nah, get off me. Beautiful take -off. Just misses there with the left. Effective punch there by Francis. Come on. What you got? <laughs> Dumb nigga. Hit up. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt? He's very tricky when he throws oh. that ball. Excitement will happen when you watch him, and tonight he becomes a star in a massive draw for the UFC. Just wow! Just wow! So check it out. I got eight knockdowns. I was in control for over a minute. I had a hundred strikes land. 
I threw 226 strikes. I know that's a lot, but most of them was just jabs and crosses. Stunned and wobble. He was stunned and wobble four times. Goodness gracious. I, I did everything better. Everything. Check out this payout, bro. I got 290 bands. I had to get a train to camp 120, I know. But man, just everything just was working for me right there. I did get injured. Um, They put me on a 30-day medical suspension. Wow, okay. All right. I'm gonna make sure that uh, my, I, I hope I ain't got a concussion. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Uh, Spinning back fist leveled up. Um, I got 11 out of 12 knockouts for my GOAT progression. Um, let's, how many more, uh, how many submissions I got to get? Uh, pay review main events, one out of 19. That's cool. But wait, where's, I guess I got to get 17 finishes or do I still got to do the, uh, submissions at all or no? Nah? Who knows? But, um, fights remaining, I got two and, uh, I only got one out of three of the, uh, fight of the night. So I gotta, I gotta somehow see how many fights I still have in my contract. And maybe just maybe I can get that, uh, 200 K bonus, but let's check out the highlights real quick. You know what I'm saying? I beat the goofy out this bull. Boom. Oh my goodness. Get that boy whiplash. Mm, mm, mm. Lay him out. Let's go. I needed that. That was a that was a good freaking win, yo. That was a good freaking win. I can't lie to y'all, man. That felt good. I actually stood toe to toe with a, a person that could really, really strike. I did my thing, you know what I'm saying? I did get caught a couple of times. I ain't gonna cap. I did get caught a couple of times. But let's let's see if I got that belt around my shoulder real quick. I know that I know that belt gotta be around my shoulder. I know it gotta be. I know I gotta be the man right now. Oh man. Okay. Oh, you hanging it up? Well, listen, we're guess we know why I didn't want to fight me tonight. Uh yeah. Um There we go. I began a rivalry. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Boy know what's good. Rematch? Dana, come on, man. Dana, you're not even gonna let me just chill. That went for me? Yes, sir. Yeah, do next for sure. Now you can shut up everybody. Shut everybody up. Yes, sir. I will hold my breath for a fight with Alpha King Carter if I were you. Yes, sir. I'm a champ now, baby. Oh man, I guess this is what happens when you don't take challenge and fight. What? Well, come on, bro. Why? Why all the hate? They so mad at me because I'm 12 and knowing I'm the champ. It only took me 12 fights to get that belt around my motherfucking waist, man. Come on now. But I need, I need to see, I need to see uh any appearance edits that I can edit my belt in, like. I don't want to be that boy right now. Well, it looks like I need to start preparing for my first title defense as a heavyweight. Um, I have two fights remaining on my contract and I have to see if I can get this 200 K. If I can get this 200 K I'm in there, but if I can't, it is what it is. I'm making, I'm all, almost got a million dollars saved. You know what I'm saying? And I've made over a million dollars already as far as contracts and stuff like that go but i'm doing pretty good um i don't know how but i skipped a fight with the i think it was the third maybe fourth ranked then i skipped the fight with daniel cormier because i thought maybe if i skip this fight maybe they'll back me up a little bit but as soon as i skipped daniel here came the champ i said oh, i had to take that fight it ain't about nothing but oh look they ooh, they going crazy on social media but listen Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Turn on notice with that bell if you are already subscribed and for the new subscribers as well. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.